All right, guys. So welcome back to another video. We're playing some more Final Fantasy 16. We're gonna do some more side mission. There's this one up here, like with the plus sign. I think it's more like a bond mission instead of like a side mission. So we're gonna talk to this guy. Who's this, anyways? August. Who the hell's August? Clive. Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally, it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but. Not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Okay, we'll go and do this. Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. I'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. Monsters taking quite a liking to live. First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. So Karen's the shopkeeper, I think, right? Monsters taking Here she is. Like into Lady Karen. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. 
Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summer. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. Cairn Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. Alright. So. Oh, nice. I wonder if you use... Like, was he already on the board? Or do you just appear after this mission? What if I hunted him before? I accepted the quest? Maybe it just, like, appears. Right, when you start talking to this dude. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is new, okay. So these two are the regular ones, and this one just appears. So... We gotta go to Westgate. So after looking around, I think I found it. You're supposed to go to... I think... Lost Wind. A Lost Wind. And then there's a passage... Over here that'll bring you to the gates. I already marked it. But this is Westgate right here. Which is River Gates, but it's... The Cardinal Vents. I'm not sure if it's the right place. It's the only gate that's down west. So we'll travel over here. And then I'm gonna ride my chuggable down there. See if it's right there or not. Yeah, I probably should have bought some potions before we fight this dude. He's gonna be crazy as hell. Okay. So here we are. Griffins don't exactly make for easy prey. Okay, he must be here. Our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Okay, since he talked, he's probably around here somewhere. Am I just blind? I'm gonna look around and grab this. Maybe we should hop off the chocobo. Okay, here we go. He's probably here. Safe. E rank has the bounty and everything. Okay. Oh, it's this music. Holy shit, this guy's probably gonna be crazy. At least I have Jill with us. And two go too. Oh, yeah, barely do anything to this guy. Okay. Holy shit. I probably should have got more potion. Oh, fuck. What's he doing? Alright. He's level 28. Most of the time, I'm usually the same level as these guys. Or like higher. I think it's the first time we fought someone that's higher than us. Okay. Almost staggered. Jesus. Alright. What's he doing? I should probably back off. Okay, nice. Oh yeah, let's use my ability. Holy shit. I don't want to waste my potion just yet. Okay. I got one bar. Okay, there's that. Oh shit. I could use a potion. Jesus, man. Okay, this is one of these. I need the healing. Is he really gonna waste my time? There we go. Okay, let's grab him. Okay. That's kind of crazy, man. I don't know if I can do this. I need more potions. If I die, it's gonna respawn me at the next... At the closest respawn. It's gonna kind of far. I gotta move. Okay, he's almost staggered. 
What a waste. Alright. Holy shit. I gotta move again. Can you stagger? Noble dive. Oh shit. There we go. Take some of these. Fuck, this is a waste if I get unstaggered. Hey, I'm spamming everything I have. Oh yeah. What is that? Oh my god, this is actually so crazy. I wasn't really expecting a griffin in this game. Kind of insane. Are there griffins in the other game? Or is it just this one? Okay. Holy shit. Okay, that's kind of a waste. Shit. I need the healing. Shit. I don't know why I keep using this attack. Okay, let's switch so I can do the Phoenix Shift. Move away. I need healing. Oh, he can't heal me anymore. Holy shit. Oh, I don't know why I use this move. Fuck. I gotta move. Oh, we have to him. Nice. Fuck. I wasn't close enough. Holy shit. Okay. I'm gonna power up so I can get that healing in. We're so close, man. I don't really want to die. Jesus. If he staggers, we can finish it off. Oh my god. There we go. Why need everyone to do shit? Come on! Okay. Fuck, and they all hit? Holy shit, guys. I'm so scared. No, holy shit. We were pretty close. Jesus Christ. That fight was insane. Alright, so we're back. He's just chilling there. This guy's strong as shit. <clears throat> I did do some upgrading. I got some new moves. I got like the finisher for the thunder ability. Be safe. Let me just start off with that. I'm not sure how much it does, but I feel like it's going to do a shit ton if he's like staggered. Okay, has a long cooldown, so yeah, we'll save it for when he's staggered. I also put Garuda back since he like quick staggers him. Holy shit, I was expecting him to charge like that. Okay, over here we go. He's half staggered. Switch over to Garuda. Pull him down. Alright, here we go. Yeah, she staggers really fast. Holy shit. Okay, it's just really weak. Holy shit. I also got some potions as well. Oh, here I go. Holy shit. He's doing a lot to me. Some potions. This guy's just taking care of me. Okay. I probably should have not wasted my ability since he's almost staggered. Here we go. Can he stagger? There we go. I wish I had my thunder ability. I have this though. This shit isn't that good when they're staggered since it's kind of weak. Do I have anything? Come on. Damn, barely doing damage. Okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> Holy shit. Is Rudy here? Okay, I'm gonna use a potion. This guy's actually insane, man. I'm so pissed that we missed it last time. We had him. Okay. Here we go. Let's get him half staggered. Alright. I have my thunder ability back, but I don't want to waste it. Okay. Okay. I guess you're supposed to get him half staggered, then use Garuda to get all the slashes in. Right. 
Where's he going? Jesus. Oh, I just wasted that. Okay. Holy shit, he just killed everyone. What you doing? Come on. I just want to stagger him and see how much my Thunder Billy does to him. Okay. Alright. Judgment Bolt. Spam everything. Okay, there we go. That's why I should turn the damage. I'm not going to use Garuda. Cause just because it's so weak. Come on. Oh yeah, almost 3,000. Alright. Come on. Man, I hate it when he does this. I can't really do anything except dodge. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. What the hell? Where's he going? Can I use this? Garuda? Okay, I almost staggered. Holy shit. Come on, get half stagger. There we go. Pull him in. And then use this. Oh yeah, that's actually so useful like that. Holy shit. One time with Thunderbolt. Alright. We got it down. What a waste. Fuck. Oh, I don't know why I paused the game. Whoops. <laughs> it should finish him off. Oh, never mind. Where's he going? Get staggered. Just overkill this shit. That didn't kill him, really? Okay. There we go. Alright. So we got that. Something there, boy. Could that be our man? Are you all right? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Fuh. She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, 
that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Okay, so that was kind of fun. He's just going to walk off and not take the griffin with him. Look at him. This guy was crazy, man. Alright, yeah, these hunts are really fun. I did one, like, before. It was, like, the eyeball dude. He was crazy as shit, too. Alright, we gotta go back. Okay. So we'll just go back here. I feel like if we start the main mission now, it's gonna be some long section. Because we're going by bow and it won't let me come back here to do these missions. So go ahead and turn this one in. And then I'll do the side mission, the next side mission off, off camera, but I'll do it after this. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. Joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. <sighs> Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. Don't get me started how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. I wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Oh, yeah, that mission was really fun. Oh, nice. We leveled up too, I think. Or just barely? What the hell? Ooh, okay. So we got a new recipe. I'm gonna go check it out before we accept the next quest. All right, let's see what we got. What do you need? It's probably something really good. So what it be? Okay, this right here. Okay, so we need that electrum. Damn. Okay, I have everything else but that. Does it say how I get it?
Anything else? Okay, so we can't really craft it right now. I'm going to accept the next side quest, see what it is all about. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul, it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favorite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Okay, so we're gonna go there anyways right now. Damn, I thought it was just gonna be a simple hunt. So I'm pretty sure you go over here. We'll probably talk to one of these guys and then they'll tell us where to go. And then we just hunt the beast and come back. Okay, here we are. It's been a while since we were here too. Last time we were here was when the black guards attacked. I need to start collecting these music as well too. How much do they cost? Thank you. Let me check. Holy shit, I could actually afford this one, but I don't know what it sounds like. I don't want to just waste my money, you know. Pretty well. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got a gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. All right, so we got that information. Then we're just going everywhere through reeds. Okay, so these guys put it like in between here. Should I travel over here and then just go up there? I'm not sure which one is closer. I think they seem the same on this, but this seems easier to get to. Yeah, the other one looked like there was too many turns. So we'll hop on our chocobo. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia.
Oh, I didn't realize you can actually fight these guys. I thought they were just random. They're just random beasts. It's actually kind of cool. Okay. So this is down this way. I hope I'm going the right way. Let me check the map again. Okay, yeah, we're almost there. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully it's just regular scorpion, not like some big ass when we gotta fight. Okay, just regular enemies, okay. Scorpions. At least I know what I'm up against. Oh, these guys are kinda tanky. What the hell? I'm gonna take one of these. I feel like this is only good for like boss fights. This is a single target. Okay. Those. Okay, link over here. Alright, damn. Just a few left. Okay, all my villains cool down. Okay, yeah, we got these down. Okay. This guy's just tanky, holy shit. More than the rest. Okay. Did he just kill me? <laughs> Looks like he did. Can I get up? Can this guy just die? Jesus. Chest right here, I'll take that. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, a lot of these missions are just like kind of basic, but they're pretty fun to do. Let's go turn this one in. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. What the salt on the senses is like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until the steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. Can I level up? I'm like so close. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a badge. What is this? Defense by 30. That's actually a lot. Holy crap, actually. Let me equip that. Okay, let me check something. 